filmed this entire video and um, because I rebooted my Mac, I had to, um, I forgot to turn on the internal speaker. Okay, so let's get started. God, this is so frustrating, you guys. Like, I can't believe I did this. Okay. Hey guys, so this video, let's be real, is a little, I don't know, nerve-wracking for me to film. But I feel like I need to get this stuff off my chest and I just want you guys to know that, sorry, my hair, I know I need to pull these things out, let's get around. I knew that coming onto YouTube, I was going to need to protect myself. Um. This is her lie factory. And many times in this video, you're gonna see her look over here like she's thinking about something that she can lie about, but then she ends up looking over here. So most of the time in this particular video, you will see her looking here, here, and here. Okay, these are the parts of her brain that she works. She is left-handed, therefore she uses the right side of her brain. That is why she always looks this side when she's telling the truth, and that is why this is the deep dark hole that is Amberlynn's life right here. I, this is really hard. I'm not a liar. I was protecting my feelings as much as I could. I know it's selfish of me to do. Um, I'm putting myself online for a reason to speak out and be like, this is me. Okay, also like keep in mind, like she'll, she looks down a lot in this video because of shame. I am, and it's like, I still felt like there were certain things that I needed to kind of hide away. Trust me, there's a lot of things about me that you guys have no idea about. But it's like, if I bring something up or whatever, or you guys see something like, I shouldn't shame. lie. Um, I guess maybe ignore the situation. I really don't know. Um, I do have a list of things I want to talk about. So the first thing, some of these you guys might not care about or whatever, but the reason why we moved to Kentucky, I said it's because Esme wanted to be there for her mom. Okay, so this right here, when she looked over here, that means she's thinking about the the, act, the reason that she had originally said, okay? So she's going back to her creation area there before she gives the truth. I said we wanted to take care of her. I think I said that in a vlog. I don't know why, but it's not the truth. We were just tired of Florida. Honestly, I mean, mainly Destiny was. So when she says that we were ready to leave or we were ready for a change or whatever it is she says, she looks over here because she knows that she was not particularly ready and that that statement is not correct. How do I word this without like... See, she automatically goes into this area. Like this is her auto zone, right? Um, this is her amber lie space. So you'll see her like often coming in here trying to think about what she's going to lie about and then then darting over to these areas because these are where her truths come from. Saying too much, but you know, get my drift. We, her mainly, she just felt kind of like it was time to move on from Florida. You know? uh, see, her mainly. Do you see what I'm saying? And I didn't know that. I didn't, I didn't hear that the first time I did this. So that's actually really... Um, I was pretty spot on with that, but, um, but yeah, so it was basically Destiny's Choice. You know, some things were happening that she just... Okay, some things weren't happening, okay? I wasn't happy about. There was nothing happening. Destiny was just ready to go. And she wanted a new beginning. Um, that's... True, because she looked at us, but she's also trying to fabricate something to make Destiny look like she had a better reason to come to Virginia, um, but she didn't. She just wanted to leave Florida. I have, you know, said that on my Snapchat quite a few times and things like that, but I just felt like it was easier for me to say, you know, well, we just want to be there for her mom. I don't know. So whenever she said it was easier to say, to say, see, she looks down in shame. I don't know if you guys will consider that a lie or not, but it's something I've said that, you know, I wasn't 100% like truthful about. Truth. So if you guys remember my aunt situation, this was a while ago though. This was probably, I don't know, it was months ago. Okay. Months. I remember this from the first time. I don't know. I don't know if you guys will consider that a lie or not, but it's something I've said that, you know, I wasn't 100% like truthful Look at her about. eyes. So if you guys remember my aunt situation, this was a while ago though. This was probably... I don't know. It was months ago. Mo okay, see where she's looking right now? Here's the thing. She is deflecting from the fact that she knows exactly when it was that she made that video. She's trying to act like it was some sort of passing thing, like she didn't do it out of um, spite, 
But really, she did. She knows exactly when she did it. That's why she's looking over here trying to be like, oh, you know, it was months ago, yada, yada. Months, to be honest. When I uploaded a video... To be honest. She always says that, and I've said this before in a video, possibly more videos. Um, a lot of the times, liars will say to be honest or honestly or whatever, it's not always the case. I mean, just because somebody says honestly or I honestly think or to be honest, whatever, it doesn't mean that they're lying. But if for somebody like Amber Lynn, who is constantly lying, when they say to be honest, it's prob most likely even a bigger lie that they're trying to convince you of. But it's like a lie that they know that you might not believe. Yo, about how my aunt doesn't talk to me anymore because I'm fat. Okay, did you see the slow eye close? Um... That was a shame thing. That was a shame thing. I'm a little on edge about that. Um, I ended up talking to her and my cousins shame. regarding that video. I had no idea they were going to see it. Okay. She looked over here again. She said, I had no idea they were going to see it. That is a lie. She knew exactly. She knew exactly what she was doing when she posted it. She was hoping in that moment that her aunt would see it. What really gets to Amber Lynn in this particular lie is that she was not planning on having her cousins also know about it. Um, I'm not sure that she, her cousins knew that she had a YouTube channel. I think her aunt knew. And her biggest shame in this whole situation with her aunt was disappointing her cousins. So watch her, watch her face. I had no, my, no idea my aunt even watched my YouTube anymore. Or anything and they were greatly offended but at the time I, you see she's about to cry I was vulnerable and I was upset and I really felt like blaming my weight on everything was just like the easiest way to go it, it's hard like she's it's hard for her to tell the truth is what she's saying I have a weight issue and I have you know mental issues that cause you know me to be bigger you don't just get this big for no reason it just doesn't work that way like, of course, you can get, you know, overweight, that's normal, but to become so morbidly obese, there's something wrong. And I kind of wanted to ignore all that and just be like, oh, my aunt doesn't talk to me because I'm fat. I just thought it would be easier. There's more to me than my weight when it comes to me and my aunt. She... You know, relationship. I pushed her away because of just who I am and how I am as a person. Um, I think her aunt was trying to help her, and she pushed her away because of that, and... That's and that's the truth, and it's why she's really looking. not has anything to do with my weight. At the time, I felt like that. Sometimes I still do. I, I really don't know. I I think I gave her a lot of excuses as to who I am. Um, I fibbed to her a few times just so she would stay in my life. I know that sounds so fucking... Okay, so another thing liars do is they'll try to minimize some lies okay so so that they don't feel like they're such shitty people for always lying when they when they're caught in the act they'll oftentimes m negate or minimize certain things that they've said so that they don't seem like they're telling big lies all the time so that's what she's doing she said that she fibbed okay but a fib does not create huge problems strange but I don't know. That's really all I want to say um, regarding that is, no, my aunt, you know, she didn't stop talking to me because I'm fat. She stopped talking to me because of the issues I brought upon her, I guess. And if she's watching this, I am so sorry. And I really... Okay, listen. The thing is, I want to I wanna go back to the fact that um, she did know her aunt was going to watch because she titled the video, My Aunt Stopped Talking to Me Because I'm Fat or something like that. And um, you'd have to be an idiot. And Amber Lynn's not the sharpest tool in the shed, but she is also not an idiot and has quite a bit of common sense, enough to be able to manipulate certain people. But she doesn't have enough common sense to realize that her manipulations don't work on the general public, that they only work around, they only work on people that she chooses to surround herself with, which is typical for a narcissist to surround themselves with people who they believe are lesser than because they, they want to feed on them. Just, I wish I could change who I am as a person because I really want my aunt back. Like, it's it affects me. It really does. Sorry. Okay. Um, the next thing is um my weight. I wouldn't say I've lied to you guys per se about it, but I definitely haven't been like very 
truth. Into like telling you guys my weight. Um, I'm fluctuating a lot currently with my weight. Um, I don't think she's fluctuating a lot. I think she probably fluctuates about as much as any other person does. Eight. Um, it's frustrating because I'll do really good at something and then I will mess up and then I'll and do really good true. at something and then I'll mess up. This used to happen to me a lot where I would lose like four pounds and then gain it back. But now currently it's to the point where I gain like, I mean, I lose about 15, 20 pounds and then I gain it back. And that's really bad for me. And I haven't really been that. I, I couldn't tell anything with her face or whatever, but that seems a little unrealistic to me to be gaining and losing 15 to 20 pounds at a time. Something doesn't sound right with that. I'm honest about that because whenever someone asks me, you know, oh, she's... Okay. No one asked her anything. I don't know what she... I don't remember what she's about to say, but nobody asked her anything. Gain weight or whatever. I always just say I'm losing. I don't know. I, I don't need the backlash. At all. I just, I don't want it. I just feel like it's so much safer to just say what people want to hear and what I feel like people will not hate me for. I don't know how to explain it, but I can 110% say I've never been 500 pounds. I know a lot of people. Okay, so, see, she said, she was looking at the camera when she says she's not 500 pounds, which at this point in her life was true. But then she looked down as she was saying a lot of people, which means she's embellishing, which means probably only one or two people may have said what she's about to say that they've said. People are saying, you know, oh, she's 500 pounds, she's about to be 650 pounds. Like, this has never happened. Um, my highest weight is 485, and... Which is ugh, true. Right now, today, I weighed 476, I think it was. And um, currently, right now, I am losing weight. Like, I'm not gaining. True. I promise you that. I have been weighing myself practically every day. I skip a few days here and there. And the scale is going down. And I'm in fear it's going to go back up again because... I don't think that she's in fear about it going back up because I think that she was just thinking again about how her weight fluctuates 15 to 20 pounds and I'm pretty sure that, well, because it's not fluctuating that much, there's no way that she can fear that it's going to fluctuate that much. Do you see what I'm saying? My mind always wins. Losing weight is mind over matter and that's just how it's always been and I feel like my mind is so strong with some things but I feel like my weight is just like, ugh. Anyways. Um, the next thing is about my girlfriend, Destiny's weight gain, and if she's actually gained weight. Ugh. I told you guys that Destiny has not gained weight since she's been with me. I've said that at least a hundred times. See, she said, I've said that at least a hundred times. She was looking here because she was embellishing. Obviously, she has not said that a hundred times. But she has gained weight since she's been with me. I do want to say, before she met me, she gained weight from birth control. Um, a lot of people are like, why'd she take birth control? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, it's not really your business. Um, a lot of people are confused because they're like, she's a lesbian, why she need birth control? There is other reasons why people need birth control, and I just don't really want to say that. Um, Destiny did give me permission to talk about her weight and just explain to you guys that I have been trying to protect her feelings. Oh, um, another thing that I want y'all to watch out for is when she adjusts her cardigan. Um, when she is feeling very vulnerable, she will sort of cusp it over her boobs. Now, think about this. This is the same girl who shows off her boobs constantly. <laughs> She has lost any sort of vulnerability since this video. When I moved in with her, or we moved in together in our apartment, she weighed 181 pounds. And as of today, she weighs 206. So she's gained about 25 pounds. On her body structure, of course, that's really horrible and I feel really bad and I blame myself so much. I do. Um, she's never been a healthy eater, though, I will say that. But I feel like it's only gotten a little worse since she's been with me. And I feel horrible about it. Like, she doesn't really feel horrible about it because she doesn't feel like she's responsible for Destiny's weight gain. And quite honestly, and I think it's either something she's about to say or something that she said that I missed, but something in her body language earlier when I was recording this um, told me that basically Destiny was already on that path of weight gain before Amberlynn came into the picture. Like, it was like she was already steadily gaining weight prior to. And Amberlynn knows that and... Um, so she doesn't feel responsible. She does love Destiny. You can tell because she does look like she's about to cry. But all in all, she does not feel responsible for Destiny gaining weight while she's been with her. Like, I don't want to go into any more with that. I just feel freaking horrible. And I just, I want her to lose weight more than I want myself to lose weight. Because I care about her and love her more than I love myself. And when I Truth. see her eat something that's bad for her, it breaks my heart. Because she doesn't understand nutrition like I do. Something, she looked down here, which is, she's kind of throwing Destiny under the bus a little bit, um, 
as far as her not understanding stuff, um, I think she's playing it up a lot more than it actually is. I think Destiny very well understands the whole calorie in, calorie out aspect, but I think she also doesn't care. And I don't, like, who's going to listen to me? Look at me, you know, that's just how it goes. I did not want this video to be like this, but I should have known. Okay, so something else I've lied about is the job I had in Florida. Um, I told you guys that I was a PCA worker at a assisted living facility um, full-time, and I wasn't. See? See, she looked down when she said full-time, which we all know was not true, and she's about to confess that. But, see, whenever she says even just a word or two that is a lie, she will shift her eyes this way. I was a PCA worker at a assisted living facility, true. but I was not full-time. I worked see? four hours. It started off four hours a day for three days, and then I got four hours. Okay, this is such a small lie, and it's really not important, but this is why she looked over here. So I think, like, it did start out with four hours a day for three days or whatever. I don't think it shifted at all to four days, and then I think it went straight to five days. So she knows that when she said the four-day thing that it was not true. Um, there's no reason for her to be lying about it, but she's embellishing to make her story sound more interesting. So. And I got four hours a day for five days, and then eventually I was four hours a day for six days. See, again. And then I started covering a lot of other just random shifts, like eight hour shifts, and I did. A and she shook her head no there, and so, um, she, like when she said a lot of. Got four hours a day for five days. What? And then eventually I was four hours a day for six days, and then Truth. I started covering a lot of other just random shifts, like eight hour shifts, and I did. Okay, so she didn't start covering a lot of random shifts. She probably covered only a few. She did probably cover at least one, but definitely not a lot because she looked over here. I did a 16-hour shift one time. Um, I was part-time. She's looking over there. I don't know what she's lying about. Hold on. I was always on call. She was not always on call. That is a lie. But I was part-time. I lied. And she shook her head. She was part-time, which makes me wonder... Was she even part-time, or was she contract, or was she temp? You know, she, it kind of sounds like she was a temp, and that she wasn't part-time at all. Because she does keep looking over there when she says part-time. She does. She looks over there when she says part-time. And she's done it a couple times, and I couldn't figure out earlier what it was. But I think that's what it was. I think she was a temp. Random shifts, like eight-hour shifts, and I did a 16-hour shift one time. Um, I was part-time. I was always on call, but I was part-time. I lied to you guys and said... See, she said it, but I was part-time and shook her head. I was a full-time. Because I felt so true. guilty true. about my life in Florida. I mean, my life in Virginia. Sorry, I've lived so many places. I don't even know anywhere. Okay. I felt so guilty about my life in Virginia. I... She didn't feel guilty about her life in Virginia. I lived with my ex-girlfriend for Truth. almost four years without a job, and I lived off of her parents, and I got a lot of, a lot of beef because of that online, and a lot of people... See, she looked over here again. She didn't get a lot of beef at the time. She wasn't getting a lot of beef. I think maybe a couple people might have said something about it. I didn't understand why I didn't have a job at the time, and this and that. So I wanted, I wanted you guys to be proud of me, and I, I didn't want you guys to think I was some helpless person, and... She didn't, she doesn't care about people being proud of her. She shook her head. I want you guys to be proud of me. That's not at all the normal movement. I thought by saying I had a full-time job that it would make me seem like some freaking awesome person, and really it didn't. Um, she's about to lie. Oh, she changed her mind. And she's in shame. Okay, so she, she thought just now about lying about something, but then she turned her eyes down in shame, like, okay, better not. I don't know why. See? See? She, she was about to try to make up a reason, and she chose not to. I lied about that. Besides the point, I just True. needed, almost needed confirmation from other people that I was capable to be in this world. Sometimes I just felt like... Why do I live off of everybody? Why can't I just support myself? I did not want to live off of Destiny. And when I was living in Florida at the beginning, I did not make enough money on YouTube. I lied about that. I did not make enough money on YouTube to support us at all. Okay, so she looked over here when she said at the beginning. So I think during the entirety of her living in Florida, she didn't make any money. Because that video of her with Destiny, 
um, only had a few thousand views or whatever. And most of those were probably after she got popular. Um, so that right there was what that look was for. Oh. Um, now I will say YouTube income is I did not make enough money on YouTube to support us at all. Um, now I will say YouTube income is incredible and I'm so grateful for you guys because it really helps. It doesn't just help me, but it helps Destiny and it helps her mom when she needs something and I want to be that person. I'm t I'm so tired of just living on other people. I got so used to it being a foster care kid. Like, Okay, so she's dropped down here when she starts talking about foster care kid. Now, I have a theory about this and you'll see what I mean in a second, but Every time she talks about actually being in a foster home, her eyes drop here. Listen. Because I was in foster care for so many years of my life, and I lived with so many families and group homes. And See, when she said group homes, she looked back down over here again. Okay, see what I mean? So she did live with a lot of families, but I don't think that she lived in a lot of group homes. And I don't think she lived in a lot of um, foster care uh, systems or whatever. Children's shelters, and I was so used to... See? Children's shelters. Don't believe it. Just relying on other people and Life. I, I didn't want to do that in Florida and I have She did want to do that in Florida, actually. I'm off of my head. That's cute. Just that if you guys rewind and go look at that. Um I wanted to change when I moved to Florida. She didn't. See, she shook her head and looked down. She did not want to change. She hadn't even thought about changing when she moved to Florida. She um was most likely pushed into getting a job by somebody, which is why she went to a temp agency most likely, because like I said earlier, she was not even part-time. There's a very good chance she was not even part-time. Then, you know, I knew the only job I could possibly get was working with Destiny because not a lot of people want an obese girl. They don't. And I'm very grateful for, you know, I'm, I have a job here. I haven't yet started because you haven't yet contacted me yet, which is a bunch of... I have a job here that I haven't started. obese girl. They don't. And... I'm very grateful for, you know, I'm, I have a job here. I haven't yet started because you haven't yet contacted me yet, which is a bunch of BS. If you ask me, this is a big process. And, like, YouTube is a job right now. It's reliable income, and it's a lot of income, and I'm appreciating it so much. Like, I don't even need a job outside of YouTube, but I feel like because of all those years that I didn't have a job... She doesn't feel like that at all. She doesn't feel like because all those years... And, as you know, she hasn't had a job since. She doesn't feel the need to get a job if, she, if YouTube is paying her income, okay? I'm living in Virginia that I need a job. I need to She doesn't pay back. need a job. I need to, it's like a whole thing. I she just doesn't, want to know. See, and she doesn't want to get into it because it's a lie. There there is no whole thing. Um something else I've lied about is my blood pressure. On several occasions I have said I don't have Okay. See? She said some things I've lied another thing I've lied about is my blood pressure looked down right here. Diabetes, I don't have high blood pressure, I don't have high cholesterol, I don't have this or that, whatever. All of that is true besides the blood pressure. All of that is true, boink, boink. I don't have high blood pressure, but I have borderline high blood pressure. Um, where it's like okay, so right here, she's lying about it being borderline. I do believe the doctor probably told her she had high blood pressure and wanted her to get on medicine, but because she doesn't have insurance or didn't have insurance, she probably chose not to take it. It's semi-high. It's not high enough for me to take a pill, but it is... See? There again. There. And it's a little scary, let's be real. Um, she's not scared at all because at this time in her life she was super young and we've all been that age before most of us and when you're that young you do in a way believe that you're invincible I just want to be a healthy person like this video is so I just want to be a healthy person head shake and here's the famous line oh so raw you guys fuck fuck me like damn excuse my language if you're young okay I just I want people to think I was healthy, even though I have unhealthy written all over me. Like, this is not good. People think I'm promoting obesity, and I'm not. I'm just trying to promote, like, love yourself no matter what while you're trying to better yourself. True. But it's like, don't be this person. Like, it's not good. And I know I have high blood pressure because my eating habits and because I'm morbidly obese. See? She has high blood pressure. She just admitted it right here. She just admitted that she has high blood pressure. But then she just lied about it not being high. And I haven't been tested for diabetes or... That was a lie. And, uh, I haven't been tested for diabetes. She has. You know, cholesterol or whatever. Also leaned in here for cholesterol. In a while. So I don't know. But I can safely say that, like, if I eat a lot of sugar or whatever, like, I don't feel any differently. I can safely say that if I eat a lot of sugar or whatever. 
so I want to- You're not gonna feel differently right away, Amberlynn. That's so stupid. To assume I don't have diabetes. I'm just clearly assuming, you guys. I really don't know, and that's what scares me. I currently don't have a doctor right now. I'm trying to get on an insurance plan, and- She's not trying to get on an insurance plan. It's just not working. I don't understand why. This also happened in Virginia. Ooh, like, I don't even know. So I'm trying to figure everything out, and- She also says, I don't even know. When she's lying, she says, I don't even know, because she doesn't want to get into it. Just, she's lying. Whatever she's about to say, she's lying. Trying so hard to treat my body the way- She's not trying so hard, and she knows it, which is why she's looking down in shame. I should have been treated from the beginning, and sometimes my mind just- Which is true. It, it overpowers me, and I don't know how. Like, it takes control of my whole body. Toes to my head. I don't true. get it. Um, okay, so this, all, these, this last one kind of goes hand in hand, why I don't vlog as much. Versus Lie. why do I ride a scooter in Walmart and why do I sit in the car when Destiny goes in the store a lot? Okay, she's about to give us a big, a big, a big old lie here. It's because I can't breathe. <laughs> no. Um, See, she lied over here. She said it's because I can't breathe, and then she's said no, and now she's about to lie again. I've gotten to the point in my life, and since and she I've touched her face, gained so much weight. Everything is hard. Not everything. Obviously, not every single thing is hard, okay? Not at this point yet. She's exaggerating it. People ask if showering is hard? Yes. People ask if I can wear a seatbelt? No, they don't fit me. Um, okay, so I remember this from the last time. What she's about to say is a lot of people... She, she starts naming off other things that people have asked her about, and the next few examples, I don't believe that anybody's asked her about them. And if they have, it's only been one or two people because she says the word a lot, I think. People ask if going up the stairs is hard. So, okay. See, she's making it up. She's ma She had to make that. You can even see the stutter in her voice. I mean, in her lips. Watch. Hard? Yes. People ask if I can wear a seatbelt? No, they don't fit me. Watch. Um, people ask if going up the stairs is hard? Yes. People ask, why do I ride a freaking Walmart cart? Not only is it my foot, that is the 100% true. At this point, I don't think a bunch of people ask. That's that's all I'm saying. I do have either a heel spur or a planter, whatever. I haven't gone to a doctor for it. She doesn't really know what she has. But it's also- Shame. I haven't gone to the doctor for it. Because I get so winded so fast, and it's because of my weight. And, God, I would do anything to be able to vlog how I want to. But I feel like the only reason why- I mean, oh, what am I trying to say? I feel like the only time I vlog is when I'm sitting or when I have air. Like, even just sitting here, like, sometimes I feel like I'm out of breath. And it's because of my weight. And I know you guys see it, too. And, like, there's times where I'm, like, where I am in the store. Like, I do go in the store. Like, I don't just not. Uh, okay, she said she doesn't just not go into the store. That's that's not true. She probably doesn't go into the store. Um, There are times where I'm in there and I want to show you guys something cool, but I'm like, oh, I'm not going to be able to talk because I can barely breathe because I'm standing and walking. And it's it's... She looked down when she said walking, so I don't think she really goes anywhere and walks at this point. Really embarrassing, and... It's not that embarrassing for I her. I used to not be that person, and moving to Florida really messed with me. It really, truly did. It made me so much worse off physically because I let myself go. I stopped caring. I I True. met Destiny, and she was very set in her weight, and she didn't, she didn't understand, like, how to lose weight or anything, and so, like, I kind of got in that groove where... Lie. I didn't care either because she accepted me and she loved me and I regret it. I fucked up. Look at me. I fuck up. That's really all I can say. Um, I think that's it for now. I hope you guys appreciate this video. That's it for now. For now. I feel like so many people are going to be yelling and mad and the comments are going to be harsh and I don't think I'm going to be able to read the comments. I really don't. So this video, I might not read that. She's going to read them. She just lied again. Um, but if you guys watch this straight through, I appreciate it so much. This took so much nerve. I can't even explain how much nerve this took. But I... It didn't take that much nerve. appreciate you guys watching this, and I really hope you guys don't hate me. I'm she doesn't really care if we hate her or not. I'm a human. I make mistakes. I'm not perfect, and I was just trying to protect myself. And while doing so, I not only hurt me, but I probably hurt you guys, so... I don't think she was trying to protect herself. She's just caught in a lie. That's it. But I still hope you guys enjoyed this video for what it's worth, worth and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. So there you go. It is so unbelievably consistent her lying and her looking down in that area that we will always be able to tell when she's lying from here on out. I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks for all your loving comments. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Bye now.